So this console here uh, actually allows me to look at the cost of specific resources and go really deep and seeing all the cost components for that specific resource. You can, of course, do it at the service level, at the region level, and so on. Here, for example, I'm looking at one specific resource, which is an RDS. I have a feature here to only show RDS. There's another feature to show only this specific resource. And then I can see all the SKUs related to this specific resource. This is an RDS database, and here I can quickly see that the most expensive cost component for this resource is actually a storage type. So PIOPS stands for provisioned IOPS, and it has two components. So the storage part, and also the IO, or the read or write operations done on that storage. So here, it's, it will allow me to see exactly what is the main cost function, and then I can ask myself, are there any other options? Could they, let's say, move to GP3? Would that be relevant for me? If yes, and then you can continue the process. But you can even see the usage here. So if I switch to the usage view, I can see that I have 3,000 provisioned for this specific instance. This is very low, and usually for this kind of amount of IOPS, we suggest customers to move to GP3. Basically, provisioned IOPS start to make sense when you read you know, more than 15,000 or 16,000 IOPS, maybe like with the GP3 version, you want to specify a higher number because it's less performant than provisioned IOPS. But having, let's say, 5,000 IOPS in GP3 would actually give you similar performance to 3,000 IOPS in provisioned one, and it would still be less, less cost. Yeah, so basically this is a view that will allow you to identify quickly which parts that you should optimize. Because this also the problem. For example, you want to see an instance that is running out of cost, but usually since the cost uh, pricing model is always complicated, you want to specifically check which exact part of the cost we should optimize. Here, I'm filtering on all the GP2 uh, SKUs, RDS, that I have. And then I can show all the resources that are currently Embedding using the GP2 storage type. This is also an exercise that we do with customers. When I find something like this, I can share this full list with my customer and I tell them, you have all these databases here that you need maybe to migrate from GP2 to GP3. Um, it may give you up to 9% of savings for that specific part. So this like a UI that will allow you to go really deep and really quickly and see what's going on behind the cost and behind the SKUs that you might have.